Hello, welcome to chapter 6, lesson 8, on page 423. This is multiplication properties. So we've done properties with addition. So now it's going to be very similar, same properties. So we have uh, example 1. A coach of 16 players in each of two groups. Each player scored 5 goals. Find the total number of goals scored. So we have find 16 times 2 times 5. We do notice that these are grouped by parentheses, but it says since you can easily multiply 2 and 5, change the way the numbers are grouped. So that's actually very true. So the associative property of multiplication states that the way in which factors are grouped does not change the product. So since we're changing the numbers, but it's all the same numbers, then we're still going to have the same answer for a multiplication problem. So it's easier to find 2 times 5 than it is 16 times 2. You can group the numbers differently to find 2 times 5 first. So what we did was we switched the parentheses to 2 times 5. Because 2 times 5 equals 10. And we can do 16 times 10 because this is going to equal 160. So the total is 160. But just remember, if it's grouped, we use the associative property. So example 2. It says, find the unknown in the equation. So 15 and a half times blank equals, I'm sorry, 35 and a half times blank equals 17 times 35 and a half. So in this case, we're using the commutative property. So the commutative, commutative property of multiplication shows that the order in which factors are multiplied does not change the product. So in this case, our unknown number is going to be 17. Because all we did was we switched uh, which ones was first and which one was last. Example 3, it says, find the unknown in the equation. 17 times blank equals 17. So the identity property of multiplication states that the product of any factor in 1 equals the factor. So we have 17 times 1 equals 17. And that's going to be the identity property. From the 6th grade math book, I snipped this and added this to the notes from my class. So it's the cumulative properties associative in identity, and it shows it for both addition and multiplication. The main difference is the identity property. If you look for addition, the identity property is when we add by zero, and this should be review. So 13 plus zero equals 13. But for multiplication, instead of 0, it's when we multiply it by 1. So 7 times 1 equals 7. So that table is just there to help. But go ahead and try the guided practice. Draw the lines to say which property is which. So now that you drew the lines, I'm going to go ahead and draw mine. So I know right off the bat, if I multiply it by 1, that's going to be the identity property. And number two, I have groups, and I know groups is part of the associative property. And number one, the order's just changed, so this is going to be my commutative property. But that's the end of the notes, so thank you for watching. In my class, don't forget you can also use this, the sixth grade notes to help you as well. But thank you for watching.